Hi, welcome, we're back. Last time I said that if you had any Wobble Dogs, you could send them my way and I'll review them. So let's start off our dog pageant, shall we? Let's see the good, the bad, the weird that you guys have come up with. Okay, the first dog we got, all it says is please try. There is no other data about this dog. What are we gonna get? Inv <laughs> uh, invalid dog code. Let's try it again. There we go. Ooh, oh, that's cool. That's cool, actually. Let's bring him out. It's a full-on bat dog. That's actually pretty cool. Can you fly? Maybe you might be a little bit too tail heavy. Oh, no, you can fly. Oh, that's sick. We have an actual bat dog. Oh, that's so cool. Can you fly more? Oh, and you're not just like flapping about weirdly. You can actually fly. Like on the one hand, the bat wings are pretty small. But on the other hand, the fact that it has wings and also like this huge dog tail, that's kind of, that's pretty cool. This is a really cool design. Last time I was praising a vampire dog. So I'm glad that we're coming back to this theme of vampire dogs. Well done. You get like a Dracula's pet out of 10. There you go. And goodbye. Fascinating. Oh, you're back. Oh, right. I forgot you can just fly. Well, how about we send you through the top one this time? Bye bye. Okay, let's keep going. This is another dog we got. Again, it has no other information. Just can you please try this wobble dog code? Let's give it a shot. Oh, another another flag one. Oh, let's go. Hey, look at him. This one is <laughs> this one is way more derpy looking than the other one. I might be a little bit biased because I have trouble getting the flying type of dogs that I want, but I've realized that I'm kind of a fan of the flying dogs. Hi there, buddy. Okay, important thing. Can you fly though? Fly. Oh, you're a little bit too heavy. You can't go up. <laughs> That's a little bit of a struggle, but that's okay. You know what? You tried your best. That's all that matters. Even though these wings are very bat-like, as we've seen here, we don't have to get like a themed vampire dog. This one is already pretty good. I love the green color on it. It's more of an earthy pastel tone. Like I feel like it could just really blend in to its environment. Anyways, pretty cool. Happy little guy. Maybe it's just that you're like a weird green thing that kind of reminds me of wasabi. There you go. Wasabi out of 10. Now go. I missed. My bad. Uh, go. I have to. I have to get better. I'm throwing them like into a wall. Good wobble dog. Thank you. Um, really quick. We got this one. That's a cocoon and I don't know how it looks like. So I kind of want to see what happens when we hatch it. I don't know how long you've just been here. You know what? You can stay there for a while. We're going to we're going to go to the next dog. Okay, the next dog, no info on it. We just got a wobble dog code. What's in it? <laughs> what is this? You're so, okay, let's, let's bring you out. Yet another winged dog. I love that this is a pattern, by the way. I love that this is the third winged dog that we've gotten the whole session. This I see, very different take. I don't know if it's maybe obvious from all of the orange that I have, but I, I am a fan of orange. So I do like this dog. However, <laughs> however, the shape of this dog is interesting. Very much like a mattress cover, I see. But you know what? I do like that these wings are so different. We got like moth wings this time. I'm okay with that. That's cool. Wait, are your eyes different? Wait, uh, hold on. You can have eyelashes? Wait a minute. Oh, that's adorable. I didn't know wobble dogs could have eyelashes. That's so cute. Even when the eyes are closed, look at the eyelashes. That's so pretty. Okay, the real question is, can you fly? Okay. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this. Half of them cannot fly. They're too big. That's funny though. Look, I had to try, okay? I had to see if they could fly at least. They're trying. They are, they can hover. They're getting above. <gasps> That, I would call that flying. I would call that flying. They're in the air. Okay, you get a pass. Good job. Good job. That's all I needed to know. Can you fly? The answer is yes. Congratulations. You're getting, you're getting a flying mattress out of 10. Go that way. Oof. Go that. <laughs> flying mattress out of 10. Thanks for your participation. Go. Wait. Of course they want to mutate now. I got to go back and get them. I already gave you your rating, but you know what? You wanted to pupate, so I'm gonna let you do that. And then we're just gonna see what we get. Might as well. Now on the other side of things, we do have this violet dog. So what do you turn out to be? Are you actually violet or gold? <gasps> you are. I would say that's pretty violet and gold. What happened? You just got a little bit, you just got a little bit longer? Okay. <laughs> you kind of stretched out a little bit there. That's funny. All right. Thanks for your contribution. Bye-bye. Unbelievable. Leaving a stain in my carpet. What about you? What do you transform into? 
Oh, the ears. The ears curve. Oh, weird. You changed your entire color palette from orange to like a peach color. But I, uh, but you left the stain on my floor and you're kind of just roaming around in the stain, which is kind of gross, honestly. So, uh, so, you know, thanks for being here, but get out of here. Oops. Get out of here. Get out of here. Great job. The next waffle dog we have is called Chomp Junior Junior. The fact that it's two juniors down means we're, we're dealing with like a lineage here. So how's it going to look? Oh, you're so purple. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Is it weird to say that you look like the inside of the cocoon? <laughs> it is so purple. I will say, by the way, I am not a fan of purple right now. I was drinking unbranded purple soda that we will not speak of. It is so unbelievably, like, synthetically purple, which is what you remind me of. And there you go. All right, you took yourself out with it. Understandable. That was a quickly rate and done situation. This thing's like a grape, almost. Okay, the next dog that we have is one called Mocha. Matcha. I don't know how to say this word. Is that dumb of me? But I like it. I like that we're actually giving them names. Does it fit their name, though? I keep hitting paste instead of import. <laughs> oh, yet another winged dog. Look at that. This one, oh, we don't even have to judge whether... Oh, <laughs> it flew into the vents. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, get back, get get down here. Come on, go into the go into the other room, please. Go into this room. No, 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 no. Oh. We don't even have to judge whether this one can fly or not. We already saw that you were capable of flying, all right? We see how energetic this dog is. I also love the variation of wings during this session, all right? We got one that looked kind of like bug wings, and now we have more traditional wings. I don't even know how you would consider these wings, just like, your typical bird flying wings, I see. Now, what I also do like about this dog is that it has two tails. Simultaneously, a winged flying dog and a two-tailed dog. The only problem is, look, I'm trying to fix you at the moment, but it feels like you're very cramped. Like, look at your leg. Are you okay there, bud? Okay, cool, cool, cool. That was just a small problem. Your legs aren't normally like that broken. Got it. From a scale of one through 10, I would gladly put Mocha on Mocha at a 10. That could either be a compliment or a diss, depending on whether mocha tastes as good. I, do, I would not know. I've never tried the thing. Okay, hold on. Mocha. Mocha. I got it. Mm, I'm, I'm a genius. What can I say? So talented. I'm so ta I know how to say words. <laughs> okay, so the next one here is called Ogre. And I kind of want to see how it looks like. <laughs> Let's go. It's another winged dog. We're just on a streak today with a winged dogs. Of course, with the winged dogs, we have to make sure. Can you fly up? You can flap your wings a little bit. Okay, that's cool. You got a little bit of mobility, but do you have upwards mobility? Oh, you do. Okay, you do. That counts. Hold on. I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to see if you could float up into the air for like a second. Okay, you can. Where are you? That definitely, <laughs> that definitely counts as flight. Good job, Ogre. You've, you've made us all proud by showing us that you can fly. This is like very saturated grape purple. This is a lot more toned down. It's a bit too adorable for me to give it an ogre out of 10, but it's like a good ogre out of 10. Bye bye, launch them. All right, this next wobble dog is called Mosquito. Oh, pff. <laughs> I hit import without putting it in a dog. How am I so bad at this? We have like over 10 episodes of this and I'm still, I'm still messing it up. Import the dog. Oh, it's a trio. Hold on, hold on. I gotta bring all of these out. Oh, look at these. They're all winged dogs. We got to a collection of a trio winged dog group. Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> this one is called Mosquito. Probably the strongest thing out of this dog so far is just how like bright it is. We've gotten a lot of dark dogs, but this one is almost like neon yellow, neon green, kind of like a glistering light. But what can I say? I have no complaint about this dog. It's a little bit unnerving that your front paws are a little bit smaller than your back paws. But I guess that's the same case with mosquitoes. You ever seen like the arms of mosquitoes? Those things are tiny. Really quick, for quality assurance purposes, can you fly? Oh, easily able to fly, I see. This is a flex. Maintaining your actual flight and not like crashing into a wall, no less. I see you're very talented in flight. Okay. That's on me for judging you. That is a power move. You honestly have, I think, like the best flight out of all of the dogs that I've rated so far. Great job, Mosquito. The bright yellow coat matches. 
a bright neon yellow mosquito out of 10. Now get out of here. Okay, the next dog we're getting is a dog called Pinky. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, this is so cool. It lives. I mean, I'm stunned. This thing has stun locked me. I heard it was pink, but I was not expecting it to be like so boldly pink. A power move, no less. This dog has like a girly pop attitude. We have a very rude personality, no consideration for other dogs whatsoever. And we have no appreciation for the hands of a soft touch. This dog is like, do not touch me. I know what I am. I know who I am. You know what, Pinky? I can respect that. All right, that gets a pass. Good job, Pinky. You get like a very sassy girly pop out of 10. Now scram, get out of here. Can you believe that behavior? So confident, so bold. All right, here's a bobble dog code. This one is named Loaf. All right, let's check him out. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's unsettling. It's something about the mixture of the long legs and just the overall size of this dog that kind of creeps me out. Here, let me try to, let me try to unwrangle the dog legs really quick. Th did that fix it? Honestly, that kind of worked. We have a very long legged dog. You have a little bit of trouble standing up there, buddy. It does have that mosquito vibe. You know, we were just talking about a mosquito uh, type of dog. This one definitely gives me mosquito vibes for the legs alone. Oh, look at how it's moving. Buddy, are you okay? It's like it's stuck. It's like half of its body is stuck within itself. Fascinatingly done. I've been watching this dog try to unravel itself for like five minutes. It's not going to happen. So we're just going to have to leave him like this. I'm going to put you out of your misery by just like finishing you off. So we're just going to rate you like a mosquito out of 10 as well for just the overall body shape. Oh, and it's twitching. Go. Honestly, picking up the dog is how I feel when like I have to like interact with any bug. Oh, it's unsettling. And next up, we have Altitude. Oh, you're, you're a giant dog. <gasps> Wicked dog. Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you <laughs> I thought this dog was gigantic. It just has like a huge head. It caught you caught me off guard. Honestly, congratulations. You caught me off guard. I was not expecting that. Um wow. Again, another dog that's orangey. I am a huge fan of the color orange and our other orange dog turned to peach. I think the best part about this dog for me is just how big the heads are. <laughs> it's so weird. You only have two limbs. You have an arm and a leg. Or maybe you have four. Because like the other two became your uh, wings, you know? But this dog is oddly good at moving around. Okay, time for the test. Can you fly upwards? <laughs> I don't I don't think this dog's gonna fly upwards. Understandable. You know, you're a little bit too uh you're a little bit too big. But, oh, you're so goofy looking that, oh, man. Just because you caught me off guard, I'll give you a pair of oranges out of 10. Just because you remind me of that from your giant head. There you go. Let's bring out all the dogs out for this session just to see them one last time. <laughs> oh, what immediately went through the shoot. All right. Very cool. As always, this was a wonderful Wobble Dogs experience. Now, like I mentioned at the start, if you want to see your Wobble Dog being reviewed, you can send me a Wobble Dog code right there in the comments so we can see more of these very, <laughs> very strange dogs. Bye-bye.